The Detroit Public Schools Foundation is holding its fifth annual Champions of Education fundraiser. Later this month, the W.K. Kellogg Foundation is being honored along with educators of the year from the Detroit Public Schools Community District. The evening also showcases the talented students who go to school in Detroit. Proceeds from the event will provide much needed school resources. Here to tell us more is the president and CEO of the DPS Foundation, Pamela Moore. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah. Glad to be here. Yeah, this is one of my favorite events each year is this idea of celebrating yes. the people who work so hard to That's make right. sure that uh, that our schools are doing what they should do and that our kids are getting uh, what they should get. That's uh, right. That's a really important that's a really important thing to do especially uh, in a city where we have real concerns about education. That's true, uh, Stephen. It is an opportunity to lift up the good work. Mm -hmm. And I always think about, you know, turning the Titanic, which mm -hmm. is really what we're doing right now. You know, you don't, or, or I'll say Dr. Vitti doesn't celebrate every little uh, one degree of the turn, but I think uh, it's incumbent upon the foundation to celebrate yeah. and to put out the good news and tell the stories of how hardworking that administration is uh -huh. and the leaders that he's assembled and uh, these 10 teachers that we're going to celebrate and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation who has provided us with a wonderful grant uh, that supports parent engagement work, kindergarten boot camp, a wonderful parent academy mm -hmm. where 2,000 caregivers and parents have, have come through already since March. And so it's an opportunity to lift up our students, our educators, our community partners. It's a wonderful evening. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh the uh, the foundation itself. Talk a little more about the things that you guys do to sure. support this district that always, always needs a lot of support. Absolutely. Right. So the foundation was created solely to support DPS, mm -hmm. CD. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we do that two ways. We fundraise various ways, campaigns. We think about the basic needs of students. It's not always academic. Uh, so we fundraise, we make many grants to schools three mm -hmm. times a year. Teachers can apply, principals, you can apply for programs, uh, you can apply for after school activities. Even organizations that already work with DPS can apply, a 501c3 can mm -hmm. apply. And we also serve as fiduciary over some very large grants that are coming into the district and that's starting to be a larger role for us yeah. uh, that we're very pleased to be a part of. Uh, and so you'll hear more about that uh, in the coming <laughs> weeks. Uh, the water situation has kind of become a focal point for us in the district, yeah. and so there's some news coming on that. Oh, okay. um, but so I was going to ask you about the water uh, situation and, and so I'm not, how the I, foundation... Yes, so we will be involved in the solution, and okay. again, the news is coming very soon. Yeah. Um, people have stepped up. People will be assisting. Um, we've got to put that story behind us, but more importantly, we have to have... Uh, safe drinking water for our yeah. children. Yeah. So we were created to support the district in every way and I always say when I was a student, DPS gave me everything I needed <laughs> to sit right here with Stephen Henderson, right, right in 2018. <laughs> but currently the circumstances are different. Um, the way schools are funded, public schools are funded is different. So the resources are not plentiful anymore. Um, Dr. Vitti just restored art or music back into every K-8 yes. school. When I was coming through, all of that, that was, was abundant. Given, right? it, that was a given. Yeah. I played every instrument that I imagined. <laughs> um, I played every sport. Uh, and so the foundation was created to kind of stand in those gaps. And there are many, many gaps now. And again, we focus on basic needs. Our children need uniforms as well as the academic piece. We focus on kind of four priority areas, STEAM, early childhood education, the babies, the pre-Ks, sure. the kindergartners, first graders, uh, career pathways. There's a lot of work going on right now. We've received some fairly uh, uh, large grants to kind of overhaul our whole career and college pathway work. Um, every high school will have themes and pathways and eventually we'll look at those feeder schools and have pathways. And so very deliberate, intentional work being done on that front. And then our last bucket we call Beyond the Classroom. So that's professional development for teachers. It could be field trips. We were always on a bus exploring <laughs> the world. Yeah. And there's just not money in the budget these days for that kind of activity. So um, competitions, um, you know, getting our children outside of the sure. classroom and experiencing what the real world has to offer. Detroit is changing rapidly. Yes, we know that, right? 
<laughs> and our children need to understand the big wide world that awaits that them and all in. the opportunities that they live in and all the opportunities that are for them. Yeah. I, this new Detroit is their Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, you and I will be, be gone right? and it needs to be. <laughs> and so um, I'm very conscious of that and really happy to be in the role and, and it just feels like home and the work is so good and the people are so hard working. You just want to support the people at the district right now. Yeah. Uh, talk about the, the difference between this new district, uh, Detroit Public Schools Community District, uh, and what we had before. Do, do you feel that um, the foundation's work has, has had to change uh, with that change, or do, is there more of a need for you, less of a need? Well, I can tell you, when I took on this role two years ago, the phones did not ring. Yeah. We were still under state control. Uh, there was no leadership in the district, and people probably felt like, well, what am I investing in huh. uh, when there's no one at the helm? So I can tell you, since um, the state has given the district back to the voters of the city of Detroit, we elected our school board. They hired an outstanding superintendent who mm -hmm. has a track record that knows how to do this work. Look at the Jacksonville schools that he just came from mm -hmm. uh, for proof of that. And so I think it's a new day. You feel like there's hope now. Uh, you feel like they're very capable people doing this work. And change is hard. And Detroit does not change easily. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> um, but change is hard. And so I really have a lot of empathy for the people that have been at the district for these 5, 10, 15, 20 years and all that they have gone through and all of the many leaders that have come and gone, the state takeover. But it is a new day. The phones are ringing. People want to mm -hmm. partner. People want to see how they can help. Um, how they can give program grants, how they can support Dr. Vitti and his team, and yeah. how the foundation can serve as fiduciary while while the district um, kind of reinvents itself. I feel and, like it's and still the getting new up systems. off its knees. Right? It needs new systems. It needs new processes. Yeah. And so that's the big difference. I mean, it's it's night and day. Yeah. It's night and day. Dr. Vitti and his team, they work, they work very well with the board. And things are happening. And again, the foundation in the coming, um, I would say in the coming months, you're going to hear a lot more news that comes out of the foundation because we need to spread the good news. There are a lot of good, good, very good things happening. Yeah. Uh, um, it, are are there other new areas or issues that have sort of presented themselves as uh, as priorities for the foundation in the last uh, year or so? Are there things that that you hadn't necessarily expected uh, w would attract your attention? Well, I would say not. There are always things that we don't yeah. expect, like this water issue. Well, right, I mean, we right. were back in school. Uh, you know, new curriculum for K eight. All of our teachers are getting professional development on November sixth. There's just a lot of hard work going mm -hmm. on behind the scenes. And then here's the water issue. But right. what I want people to understand is that we were the district was being very proactive. Um, they didn't have to test the water, but they did. They tested the water. Some of the schools tested. Uh, for for the for the lead and so Dr. Vitti decided well let's stop what we're doing right. stop all of right. the children from drinking the water until we do a thorough so test we know what we're so we know what we're dealing with and even though all of the schools did not test we want a solution now so we can put this behind us and move on yeah. um, so hydration stations is is what's being talked about and so more to come on that um, so there are always unexpected things and and I think Dr. Vitti being a teacher being a principal being yeah. a superintendent um, he understands that you need to recognize the hard work. And so there was a, a Educator of the Year a Gala last year. It was yeah. something at the very end of the year, these same 10 are being recognized at our event. Mm -hmm. But you have to recognize people. Sometimes those things aren't in the budget. Yeah. Um, but no, no real big surprises. We know that the IT upgrades need to happen. We know that we have a large special needs population that needs sure. special attention and special tools and resources. Um, um, we know that the curriculum was outdated and we've replaced that. We know that our teachers need professional development. No real surprises. Again, yeah. Dr. Vitti knows how to do this work. He's on our board. He's an awesome leader. Alicia Merriweather is also on our board. So we stay very close yeah. to the district. We are locked right. arm in arm right. as we take this journey to really turn this district around. Okay. Well, congratulations on the thank event. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, and thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Us. Yeah. I appreciate it.